until producer David O. Selznick set out to film the grandest epic ever, Gone with the Wind. With the start of production looming, Selznick had no room on his studio back lot to build Scarlett O'Hara's plantation Tara or the film's other large sets. But they had all of these big standing sets from years ago, including The King of Kings from 1927, which also doubled in King Kong for the native village with the big wall and the gate that Kong was behind. It was decided that for the wonderful burning of Atlanta, one of the highlights of the film in terms of spectacle, that they would take these old sets and put false fronts and profiles on them, and they were very carefully set to fire. To ignite the set, special effects supervisor Lee Zavitz installed an intricate network of pipes and valves to control the size of the flames. There would be no retakes. Close-up shots of Clark Gable and Vivian Lee were filmed later. Better get out of here fast. Visual effects advisor Jack Cosgrove then took the different pieces of fire footage and created traveling mats where he could cut and paste different shots into a scene, adding elements such as flames and burning buildings to heighten the drama of Atlanta's demise, producing one of Hollywood's most awesome spectacles.